Dual score 14 6 going into 133 here. There's a shot by Mac McGuire. Joe Munoz. Joe Munoz. For Ohio U. Joe Munoz, 1 and 7. Mac McGuire, 17 and 12. Mini Mac. Ohio State, or Pennsylvania State champion. I didn't mean to insult him with that Ohio stuff. McKenzie, this is his given name. Nice, nice. Keep that action up, Mac. Mac McGuire from Upper St. Clair, Pennsylvania. There, Munoz is going to score on Mac. Mac with a big upset. He went over Tony. And less than two on one there for Joe Munis. Change up that tie. Come on, change up that tie. Get where you want to go. Get your shoulder on it. Put your weight on it. Munis is from South St. Paul, Minnesota. The Minnesota kid. Yeah, so that is Quincy Osborne's guy. Hey, keep those body fakes up too. Nice, nice. Yeah, Mac and on a shot. Use that on the Defense there. High level, high level shot. Take yours. Take your single. Back in there, Mac. Mac shoots a double. Another hip to hip. Munoz doing a nice job of fighting it here. And that is two for Mac McGuire. So we got Pennsylvania versus Minnesota here. And the duels were 14 to 6 Kent State. Good hard ride. Stop the first one and seven. It's been a rough year for the Bobcats at 133 pounds. And there's the tilt for Mini Mac. Number two, he's going to release. He's got a Toro lead now. 12 seconds left in the first. Mac, Mackenzie McGuire. Frank and Power half here. Max going to defer. Munoz's you know, choice is going down. Hey, let's work down. Let's work. All right, work on this guy. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Nice period. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. The 
this is 133 pounds. That is Joe Munoz for Ohio U. Surging here in the second period. Mackenzie McGuire. Mac Mac if you want to. Their hand fighting here. is controlling the tempo here in the second period. It's completely 20 seconds left. This is why college wrestling is so tough. You got a guy who's one and seven who's gonna come and punch you in the face. Left hand on the kick you in the leg. Joe Munoz is tempo here. Runs him off. He is picking up the pace. Also like Johnson. There's a shot. Seconds to get out here. He's got 130 riding time. 5-3. And Nuno's going Navy ride here. Seatbelt here. Max going to snake his leg out and let's turn his face here. And he is going to. I guess that's still control now. One here. 6-3 lead. Stay there as long as he can. And he drops him on a leg. Trying to shoot through his leg. And there's a little pancake attempt. Joe Muno's got Vinny Mack in some trouble here. He could be looking for a fall. He's going to have the lead after this. And that's going to make it 6-6. Six, six. We're tied now. Tied at 6-6. Six, six. I was wrong. My math is horrible as always. And, and we're off the bat. Now we're tied at six. 45 seconds left. 32 seconds of riding time for McKenzie. McGuire, Joe Munoz. on the board. They would have never cut him out had they known that. Wow. <laughs> Mac getting some water over here. Munoz is pumped. You kidding me? I'm going to say that that was Kent State's fault all the way. I called it 7-6, even when I called the takedown, it was 7-6. Then Munoz could have rode for the win. And now, he's got to get a takedown when there's 16 seconds left. Tied up 7-7. Seven, seven. This is bizarre. This whole situation is bizarre. Munoz should be 
should be winning, should have been winning 7 6. I don't think they ever would have cut him out. This is a bizarre situation where Kent State botched the scoring, and this might cost Joe Munoz a win. Munoz looking great this whole entire second and third period. McGuire not able to do anything. This is shot by McGuire, short time. Inside of five seconds. Nothing. No takedown. the entire second and third period. The wire came out quick. Now we're in overtime. Sudden victory here. And Munoz pushing hard with the Russian two on one.